was the inspiration for the Christina Rossetti epic poem, The Goblin Market. Hello, Laura. Hello. Um, it's wonderful to be here. So, what was it like working um, with Christina? It was, to say the least, uh, an, ex an enlightening experience and one I'm so grateful for because, you know, I've been shunned by, by society. And But Christina, she was one of the few people that could see past that and really listen to my story and write such a beautiful piece. So you think she did it justice? Oh, I definitely think she did. Um, it was great that she wrote about a cautionary tale to, to prevent other young women from making the same mistakes as me. Um, because it can be hard for young women to stay safe when there are so many people out there ready to take advantage of you and your innocence and naivety in life. So that's where the gob goblins come in, yes? Yes. Uh, they represent the men of our age who are allowed by society to, to sleep around. And women, we're not. And that's when we become fallen. So how did you deal with this shame? Not very well, actually. Um, I suffered physically as well as mentally, and I, I aged years in a couple of days, and I worried my sister half to death, and all I could think about was my desire and pleasure of the sweet fruits. And this ruined me to other men. I became spoiled like the fruits that I then had to eat. So, from my understanding, this was a very difficult time for you. Yes. And did it change the relationship between you and your sister? It brought us a lot closer, uh, emotionally and physically. But she didn't understand my suffering, and that's what took her to the market herself. And this is why she was unfortunately raped. They tried, but she resisted. Um, and by going there, she saved my life and, as it were, returned me to light. Okay. Um, I'm so indebted to her. So what, what are you doing now? Uh, how has things turned out for you in the end? Um, yeah, our life's going really well. Um, I, uh, we bo we're both now married and we both have two little children each. Um, I've got a little girl and a little boy, uh, Lily and Noah. That's very nice. Um, and we're both very happy, but no matter how many years go by, I won't forget, or I won't let my children forget the injustice and that's happened to me, and I will show them what a cruel and terrible world we live in. Because there will always be goblins ready to take advantage of our innocence, and no matter how tempting this, this through, this temptation may be, there is always a catch and it's not as good as it seems. Well, that's a very interesting point of view. Now we have a little twist for you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, yes, I would like you to meet a goblin who has kindly agreed to come speak to us. side of the story? Well, I was just a humble fruit merchant making my living, selling exotic fruits and foods. So you feel that you have been unjustly represented in this yeah. poem? Um, it's not my fault she wanted uh, my merchandise. Oh, um... So, that's a lie. I've forgotten how lovely your hair is. So, what's your opinion on Rossetti's interpretation? I think it's very harsh. In the end, I did nothing I wasn't asked to do. Laura approached me about buying my merchandise. In fact, I feel that making a deal with her when she had little money was very kind of me. It's not my fault other people have shunned her. I cannot control the way society views women. So, you believe that you're actually the innocent party in all this? 
Yes. Although, I do find it hard to resist a saucy maiden. Um, do you believe that it's an unfair representation of men that Rossetti suggests? Uh, yes. I, for one, believe that I would never have assaulted a woman the way uh, Lizzie was assaulted by some horrible men. Um, and I do feel that some of the imagery she uses was very harsh on men. So, Laura, do you agree to some extent that not all men are as animalistic as Rossetti suggests? I feel that what happened to me is a very real threat to women and we need to protect ourselves from those who are capable of such horrific acts and it doesn't matter if they're, you know, the nicest of men, which probably turns out if they're, if they're not like my husband they probably won't be, but men like him and his whiskers, they're disgusting. They're, they're an abomination to the human race. Well, that's all we've got time for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.